from Brittany Roxanne Fit, and I am doing my Shein review for you guys today. I just placed a big order. It's the first time I've ordered from them, so I'm going to go over um, some of the things I got and what I think about it. And also, I have my makeup on heavy. I just got done practicing for my competition makeup. I think I'm going to try to do my own makeup, despite what all my coaches have told me. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. It's just... It feels like clown makeup to me because I don't wear makeup and you can see it does not match my skin color because this will be actually pretty pale compared to my competition tan. Let's get started. So this is the first shirt that I'm trying on. It's a red and white striped blouse. Um, it has these cute little details on the sleeves and cute bows. Um, not starting off too great though. The fabric feels really gross. It feels like like really cheap thin material. Um, and then everything, I pretty much ordered a small, which is what I usually wear. Um, but with this, when I bring my arms forward, I feel like I'm gonna rip it down the back. So I don't think I could wear this, definitely not to my office, but maybe if I just went somewhere and didn't move my arms, I don't know. Um, same thing with the arms. They're pretty tight. Same in the shoulders. So if you have any muscle in your body, this probably won't work. You'll have to order like a size up maybe. It's cute and it was cheap. I think it was like $8 or $11. Um, this is definitely a shirt you would wear maybe a couple of times and then it would probably be ruined. This is a really cute black top. Um, I actually like this one because the shoulders aren't um, like solid fabric. There's more room. I don't feel like I'm gonna rip it. Um, I like the lacy arms that it has. The material again is just kind of crappy. It just feels okay. It probably won't last very long, um, but it's a cute top. It has a zip in the back. Um, there's a lot more room in this, so I like this one. I will keep it. So this sweatshirt, um, as soon as I took it out, I was kind of disappointed. It's actually supposed to be shorter, more like a crop top style. It's definitely not. It's really long. Um, the other thing about it, again, same with the material, I was excited to have like a thicker sweatshirt. This is super duper thin. You can see how thin it is. Um, and it just feels weird, so the material is not that great. Um, it's definitely not for cold weather, but it's cute. I guess the length is okay. Um, there's definitely a lot more room in this. It goes down to my wrist and fits my monkey arm, so that's good. So it's okay. It was cheap, I think probably like nine bucks. So I will probably keep it. All right, this is a shirt that I had ordered um, to probably wear to work. The good thing is I can cross my arms. I don't feel like it's gonna rip down the back, which is important for me at work. Um, so far, this one is the best feeling material. It's kind of silky. Um, again, you can definitely tell it's lower quality. There's the rooster. It's a button up. Um, it feels good. This one does not go as long as I'd hoped. So when I stick my arms out, it comes up pretty high. But on normal people arms, it'd probably be fine. So I think I will keep this one. I do like it, it's a good length. And again, it was a really cheap price. This shirt, I don't know about. It has a really weird fit in the front. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of extra fabric, like right here. I think even if you had bigger boobs, it would be super awkward. Like, it's just really weird and loose right here. But then it's fitted down here. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Really cute pattern. Um, again, the fabric is pretty junky, feels pretty cheap. Um, this one, when I cross my arms, I do feel like I'm gonna rip it down the back or out the shoulders. Um, I think, I don't know, it's just, it's really weird. So this one I will probably send back, which is a shame because it's super cute, but it just doesn't feel right and I think I'm gonna rip it. 
This one is so cute. I love it. Look at the arms. There's like little pearl details and the sheer fabric. It's super cute. Um, again, this material, it feels like material you could get at Hobby Lobby, like for cheap. And just sew it and sew some sleeves on. Um, but since this is so cute, I just really love it. I'll probably keep it. Um, it doesn't feel tight in the back, which is good. It's a nice length. Um, you could probably actually tuck it into, you it would be super cute. Or with some high-waisted pants. Yeah, I like this one. I don't think it'll last very long. Um, but it's really cute. I love it. I don't know about this shirt. It kind of is weird. I don't know. It made me laugh. So this collar is like a fake collar thing. And it has a button in the back. So you almost feel like a priest or something or a pilgrim. I don't know. And then this is weird. And the sleeves are really short. Um, this material feels good. This material feels like crap. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like I just feel like a pilgrim or something. I don't know. This is a maybe. I keep forgetting to say this, but every time I take the shirts off and on, they have like the smallest neck holes ever. Like I actually have a hard time fitting my head into them. They're so tiny and weird. Yeah. And they mess up your hair. This is another one I'm not sure about. The sheer material feels okay. Um, it definitely feels a little bit cheap. The bow details are super cute. Um, the fit is okay. It doesn't feel too tight. But the front is just kind of weird. It has this weird opening. Like, what happens if it just comes open? I don't know. If you're bending over. And then they, like, trick you with the fabric here. Like, I guess you could put your hands in it. I don't know. It's weird and confusing. But kind of cute. So this is a maybe. And again, it's cheap, so what do you expect, I guess? Look at this neck hole. It's so weird. Like my hand barely fits through there. How's my head gonna fit through there? It doesn't even tell you what's front and back. Alright, let's see. So this is one that I was super excited about. I love this color and I love the detail in the sleeves. All right, let's see. So I actually do like this. It's cute. I like the length. So I have a super short torso. So usually like cropped things look normal on me. So this is supposed to be cropped. If you had a normal torso, it'd probably show some belly. I really love the sleeves, the puffy sleeves and the detail all around, but of course they're too short on my arms, but I'm used to that. And I actually do, I can't remember if I said this already, I do like the neckline. So the tiny neck hole kind of pays off. It's super cute. I like it. Definitely going to keep this. I was excited about this one just because of the color and the neck is super cute. I'm not even going to button the sleeves though because when I cross my arms right here, I feel like I'm going to rip it in the shoulder and definitely feel like I'm going to rip it in the back. So again, if you have any muscle or if you move during the day, don't order this or order like two sizes up. It's so tight right here, but it's so cute but I cannot keep it. Anybody else's hair get frizzier and frizzier the more you try stuff on? This one, I love the color. The material is okay. Um, it kind of feels like a space material. It's kind of weird. Um, I like the high-low or whatever you call this. 
And then you have the little bow that comes with, I don't know if it goes in the front or the back, you could probably do whatever. This is something that would probably look cutest with like leggings. It's not too tight, the material's pretty stretchy, so you can wear this if you have like a physical job. Mm, I don't know, it's kind of cute. This is a maybe. Alright, this is another really cute one. Again, on normal people, this should be a crop top. On me, it fits like a normal sweatshirt. I love the poofy sleeves, but I don't know, they might be too much. Pretty large. Then it kind of has like an off the shoulder look, and then these cute little buttons. The material is pretty good actually. Um, it's fairly thick and it's really soft too. So I think I like this one. I'll probably keep it. It's cute. This one, ah. I don't know. My deaf dog keeps barking. She gets disturbed by anything. Uh, shadows, leaves falling. She just won't shut up, so sorry. This sweatshirt, I don't know, is interesting. So it has kind of like a mess in the front and then an equal mess in the back. It's just kind of weird. Does it have a hood? Yeah, it has a hood. So this is something I would probably just keep because it's so cheap and I would only wear like at home. Like it's just weird. Like I kind of feel like a hood rat or something. It's weird. Oh, and then too, I don't know if you can see, there's like all this brown and color like dirt looking stuff on my pants. That's where I was doing my makeup earlier and I just, I just clean my brushes on my pants. So that's how professional I am. So this I'll probably keep just because why not. This was one that I was most excited about. Um, they did have a really light pink one, which I wanted more than this, um, but it sold out before I could get it. So it's super cute. I love it because it looks like my little white kitty sleeping on the couch. Um, I like it. I was instantly disappointed though because again, it's that weird material like it's kind of stretchy it's not a super thick sweatshirt like i was hoping i was describing this to my husband and i said it's kind of a mix between a sweatshirt and a sponge material but it's really cute i guess stretchy is a good thing you can move around i like it i especially like this though so cute These are the joggers that I bought. They are definitely going back. Um, they're a size small, which is what I normally wear, but oh my gosh, they're so tight. Like just lifting my leg like this, I feel like I'm gonna rip them down the quads. Um, they're super tight on my calves, super tight on my butt. When I was like pulling them up, I thought I felt a seam rip. They're really cute, but they're so tight, you can't do anything in them. I don't know who they're made for. So they're definitely going back. This was another item I was really excited about and now excited about. <laughs> now I'm definitely disappointed because I really want high-waisted jeans but I can't find any. So once I get them on, like look how short they are and they're supposed to be pants. Those are not pants. Those are capris. The other thing that really sucks, which is super common, like, look at that. You see how crazy that is? So I think these are a size small. <laughs> I could just walk around like that. I could put like some water in there, water bottle, I don't know, carry my wallet in there. So they're huge, way too big, they don't fit properly. Um, again, pretty tight through the legs, kind of tight through here, and then just this huge giant gap through the back. So that's disappointing. These are definitely going back. So this is probably the thing I was most excited about. Um, I'm actually using this later 
in a couple weeks for something fun. Um, but clearly this isn't something most people would just wear out and about. I guess if you did, you would wear pants. Um, I don't know where my pants are right now. Oh, here they are. But it's a super cute bodysuit. Kind of like reminds me of Barbie. It's so cute. Look at these ruffly arms. How fun. I love it. So this, I want to say it was like $3 or $4. And it's non-returnable, which is fine. Like I said, I'm using this for um, something fun that I have coming up. So definitely keeping this. Maybe I could go as like Barbie or a ballerina for Halloween. But it's so fun. Overall, my opinion of Shein is just okay. I would say you're definitely getting what you're paying for. Don't order any items that are like over $15 because it's not worth it. Most of the material is pretty cheap material. Um, the stitching is good, but I don't think it's durable. These are more clothes that you would buy and probably wear one season and then either donate them or sell them next season and just buy new. I don't think these are lasting fabrics, um, definitely not lasting quality, but they have a lot of really cute options. If you, um, you know, want to spend a hundred bucks and get like 10 new shirts, I think it's worth it. Um, the trickiest thing though is the sizing. So as I expected um, from companies like that, usually the sizes are pretty small. I ordered everything in my usual size small and I would say Probably about 70% of everything fit really well, fit like it was supposed to. The other 30% was way too tight throughout the back or the shoulders. Um, and then the pants, one pair of pants was way too tight and one was way too big. So just make sure you're ordering things that you can return if they don't fit right. I even read the comments and the reviews and pretty much everything I ordered said fits to size, but I don't think that's correct. If you have even the littlest bit of muscle, you're probably gonna rip half of these shirts. That's my review of Shein. I think that's how you say it. It's just okay. I'll probably order from them again, but I'm not gonna spend a ton of money. Again, if I do order from them, it's just gonna be shirts or clothing that I know I'm only gonna wear for one or two seasons and then toss them. Oh, he's awake. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've ever tried Shein or, <laughs> look, he's gonna get in the box. If I fits, I sits. Let me know if you've ever tried Shein and what your opinions on it were. Um, and what your opinions, oh, he's getting in the box. Oh, maybe. He just woke up, it's hard. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.